Hello, writers. So today we are going to do two things. One is punctuating dialogue and the other is adding paragraphs to our um, personal narratives. So many of you have spent a lot of time um, practicing punctuating dialogue. So today's lesson hopefully will be relatively easy for you. Uh, you're going to take some notes on punctuating dialogue and then you are going to go to your piece and make sure all of the dialogue is punctuated perfectly. So this is where it counts. And so you wanna make sure that you do a great job um, on this. And then the second thing we're gonna talk about is paragraphs. Now there are rules around paragraphing. And when I look at some of the drafts, all I'm seeing is one big paragraph. So today we're gonna to change that and you're going to write down some of the rules and then you're going to give it a shot and try and um, put your paragraphs in uh, to your paper. And that is it for today. Those are your two editing lessons. Uh, if you have time at the end, you want to do a couple of things. Make sure your narrative is exactly how you want it. And go ahead and work a little bit on your independent writing project. Okay, thanks writers. Bye. <music> Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go uh, pull out your notebook or pull up your digital writer's notebook. And you're going to go to slide 14. Um, I want you to put in a text box because we're going to do some writing today. And then I want you to go over to uh, Google Classroom. And in Google Classroom, you're going to see a presentation, a Pear Deck presentation. And the first thing you're going to see is just some words on dialogue. Uh, dialogue makes your narrative more interesting. Authentic dialogue makes it amazing. Correctly punctuated, just it's over the top. It's fantastic. Uh, there is a video review here for you. In the video review, you're going to they will say, write down this sentence. You don't need to do that. Just watch the video. And this is where our work begins. So this comes from Nancy Atwell, and it's by giving you a little bit of history about punctuating conversation, um, which is certainly interesting to read. But the part that I want you to write down in your writer's notebook is the bold part. Quotation marks are placed before the first word of a quote and after the punctuation that follows the last word. And she has an example. I think writing down those examples is really important. You can do your own example if you want, if this is too wordy for you. Um, but make sure that you write down the bold part and at least one example. Um, so for those of you who are digital, what you are going to do is you're going to do a screenshot. And I want you also to write this yourself. Um, so you're going to copy it, do the screenshot, go over to your notebook, put it over to the side here. And then you're going to, I want you to paste it in, and then you are going to go ahead and write that uh, first sentence out. So quotation marks are placed before the first word of a quote and after the punctuation that follows the last word. And then I want you to do an example. Um, it says, read, said, I love writing. And so how you can make your own example. If you can't think of an example, go ahead and use the one that Nancy Atwell leaves. And then go ahead and do the second one. Now, for those of you who like to format, you want to highlight the words, go over to your more dots, go to those three bulleted dots, and do it as so. Okay. Uh, so that is the first part of what you are going to do. Then go back to your Pear Deck after you have finished that. And there's one last thing. Um, and this is super important. In writing dialogue, two or more people 
having a conversation. You begin a new paragraph each time you alternate or change speakers. So in the example, I wish today was Friday, she said. I've been looking forward to it for months now. How come, he asked, new paragraph. Because finally, finally, I'm supposed to get my braces off. At least that's what my orthodontist promised. So every time you have a new speaker, you have a new paragraph. And I want you to make sure that you write this down as well. Again, for those who are digital, go ahead and just grab it. Do a screenshot. Oops, I missed my opportunity to grab it. Let's grab it. You're going to do that screenshot, save it to your clipboard, put it in. And then as soon as you finish typing, go ahead and get rid of your screenshots so that all you have is your typing and your examples. All right, then writer. And then you want to go back to your own paper and edit your paper for uh, punctuation. So look at every single sentence, make sure it is perfectly punctuated uh, where you have dialogue, and then you make sure that any time you change your speakers, you have a new paragraph. All right, thanks so much. That's the end of part one. Okay, so then um, the last part of this is just to talk about paragraphing. Uh, this gets incredibly tricky. Um, so these are some uh, ideas of when to change paragraphs. And I would like you to write this down in your notebook uh, or take a screenshot and go write it down. So when to change paragraphs, a new character comes along a new event happens, a new idea is introduced, anytime the setting changes, a new person is speaking, uh, time moves forward or backwards a lot, or the camera moves. Like, like, and when they say that, they mean like what you are seeing is moving. Um, anytime any of those things happen, you want to make sure that you have a new paragraph. This into your notebook. And then we're going to do a little practice. So here is the paragraph. And what they want to do is punctuate and uh, paragraph this dialogue. So within five minutes, the snow was falling so hard we couldn't see the streetlights. I went into full panic mode. Where was my father? My mother said, don't worry, he's a good driver. He'll be okay. Do you really think so, I asked? Yes, I do, she said. She put her arm around me and hugged me close to her. Together we stood at the window and watched the storm. Have you ever seen it snow like this before, I asked. Like it will never stop? My mother waited a moment before she answered. Never, she said, never. So, this is going to be like a quiz for you. And I want you to take your time and make sure that you your answer is exactly how um, you think that this should be punctuated. Uh, this is going to take you a solid 10 minutes. And then when you are finished, I want you to go back to your draft. And you're going to go back to your draft and you're going to uh, check for all of your paragraphs and you're just going to do your very best getting paragraphs in um, and that is it for today so it is punctuating that dialogue and doing those paragraphs okay writers thanks so much bye-bye mm -hmm.